Pagpupun ko sa bawat isa. I'm Marvin and on behalf of University Baptist Church Manila, we invite everyone to join us in celebrating God's faithfulness through the Great Commission He has entrusted through UBC. If you've been part of the Baptist Student Union, or right now we call it the Youth Life Student Center, please let us know, if, especially if you are a daughter church or you've been part of the missions program of UBC, then we would love to connect with you. We would love to invite everyone. And at the same time, we don't want to miss you during the occasion. So please approach us as we uh, approach our dinner so that we can send invites to all our daughter churches or mission points during the time of Wakefield, of Kabalang, and other pastors. Especially if you've been part of the pastoral team of UBC, please let us know. We would love to meet with you also. And to all of you, all the churches represented, please come and join us on October 16. That is third Sunday, 8.30 in the morning. And we are privileged to be graced by one of the directors of BSU then. Reverend Allen Hill, together with his wife. So, and we have also a pre anib fellowship, or we call it Meeting of All Ages, on October 8th. This is to invite everyone, if you've been part of Baptist Student Union, you've been there at the Youth Life Student Center, please join our pre anniversary fellowship or reunion. And we're expecting members of the church from abroad to come and join us on October 8th and on the 16th. So come and celebrate with us. Let's carry the torch of the Lord even for the next 50 years of UBC Manila. And in line with our golden anniversary, for 50, 54 years of doing student ministry, we would like to share with our federation, with our convention, and... Uh, with different associations. We would like to offer a national, if it is national in its scope, the student conference. And, uh, Pastor Lino, dito kami siguro magkukonclude kanina, kulang yung oras eh. But nonetheless, the conference will discuss about uh, success stories of Youth Life Student Center, formerly BSU. And then, back up by our church-based youth ministry. Uh, our, our speaker, please pray with us, either Allen Hill or Luther Mangao. So there's no confirmation yet with those two speakers, but in all likelihood, probably we would have Allen Hill to be our main speaker. And then, all our staff would share with you our best, your best, and our best practices in doing youth ministries and youth missions. Next slide. Why are we offering the conference? In our research, we found out that the generation, which is called millennials, uh, the population is 28 million. So we cannot help but offer a conference that would discuss, next slide please, issues of students and then issues confronting uh, youth missions and ministries and of course success stories of YLSC and University Baptist Church. And we opt to come up with resolutions. Uh, a while ago, we had the session, but we were not able to really go into deeper discovery of resolutions. Because when we are into Congress, normally the output of Congress is we would have a resolutions. That's why it is called Congress. It's different from conference. But kanina, medyo meron kaming nakitang resolutions on how we do about uh, the techy savvy of this generation. And so, why are we offering the conference? Because uh, the federation, our convention, and our denomination, if you would talk about youth ministry, it is, if I may say this, it is our BSU, 
and then become uh, it has become and re evolved to, to become what we call now the Youth Life Student Center. BSU is our parachurch. And then it has become now uh, seemingly parachurch, but at the same time, it has also a feature of church-based youth ministry, and that is YLSC. And so, we would like also to offer not only informal trainings for equipping youth missionaries and youth workers and youth pastors and all workers uh, involved in youth ministry and student ministry. We would like to offer a formal course on youth ministry and for which our president from UBC also, president of Southern Baptist School, uh, School of Theology, who was newly installed last three months or four months ago, Attorney Lil Rondario. Thank you, Pastor Mack. So I'll be presenting very briefly our uh, uh, youth program, uh, particularly uh, this is a tie-up, a network between UBC Manila and our Southern Baptist School of Theology, which incidentally I am also a part of, being a board member and recently uh, its president. So I'll be just taking up uh, the youth program of uh, UBC in uh, working hand-in-hand -hand with the Southern Baptist School of Theology. So basically, we have these learning outlines, or uh, outcomes, rather, to demonstrate a growing Christ-like character and a sense of God's calling in the ministry, to understand the Christian worldview and have a global vision for fulfilling the Great Commission, to demonstrate significant knowledge of the Bible, interpret scriptures, original meaning, and apply scripture to contemporary situations. Integrate systematic and historical theology in a larger biblical framework. And finally, demonstrate competence in the area of youth and family. So basically, we'll be focusing on the youth and family uh, target of our ministry at UBC. Next slide, please. So in line with those uh, uh, outcomes, targeted outcomes, we are offering these uh, uh, major courses. Of course, the basics, the foundational core subjects, uh, we are uh, still coordinating with PBTS and uh, our, our institution to provide those. So if uh, our students would be available to be resident students in Baguio, for instance, they can pursue their core, take up their core subjects from PBTS. But if they are confined here in Metro Manila or, or uh, the greater Manila area, then we can do it uh, through SBST, through our seminary education by extension with PBTS. These are the major subjects pertaining to the youth program, counseling, youth missions, community development, and Christian education to the youth. So if you are, you have students, um, we believe that uh, the millennials, the young generations, are the future pastors, evangelists, missionaries, not only of this generation, but even the next generation. Our mission at SBST is to equip believers to be leaders for the 21st century. And that is the mandate in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12, for us to be equippers of the saints for the work of the ministry and to, for them to be Christ-like in character. So again, we have the thesis program, Master of Divinity, and non-thesis MA degrees, and then the undergraduate or diploma programs. Thank you and God bless you.